After doctors sedate Dakota, they hauled the 80 pound Bernese Mountain Dog onto a bed to map his snout for radiation treatment. He has cancer in his nose. Upstairs, another veterinary team tests 14 year old Arnold for a similar problem. They run a CAT scan to check out a nasal tumor. Each week, around 120 pets come to the Cancer Institute in Manhattan's Animal Medical Center, where they receive the most advanced cancer care, similar to humans. Um, it's the only cancer center, certainly in New York, for, uh, for veterinary cancer, where we treat animals with both chemotherapy, radiation therapy, immunotherapy. Nine-year-old Lola is getting chemotherapy for a form of pancreatic cancer. <coughs> like most, she's not a fan of needles. But after six months of treatment, Lola is cancer free. If I hadn't gone through whatever I went through for her, she probably had only a few months, month, few more months to live. It's a costly investment more pet owners are making. Around 50% of dogs over the age of 10 develop cancer. High end animal cancer treatments are now available in vet clinics across the country. Treatments can run into the tens of thousands without pet insurance. It took nearly four years, 40 doses of chemo, and close to $30,000 to treat Lulu, a 14-year-old Shih Tzu poodle mix. It's safe to say we could have bought a very nice luxury car, <laughs> I would think, I would think. As treatments and technologies improve, oncologists like Brooke Britton are weighing the ethics of spending tens of thousands of dollars for animal medical care. You know, there's the saying, just because we can doesn't always mean we should, and... I'm a firm believer of stopping before a time when we believe we've reached a, a limit of what we can reasonably do to extend a pet's quality of life um, and, and lifespan. But to owners like Dominique Milbank, who took in Lola after she was found tied to a bench. I would give every penny I have, every saving I have, I would do everything for her that I can. There is only one option. Bonnie Ghosh, Associated Press, New York.